Coach, heck of a run. Congratulations. But uh, talk about this one and how the boys never never quit and just how back and forth it really was. It was an amazing series. It really was. Um, and I think the series itself was bottled up uh, in tonight's game. Um, you know, we came out, we played hard, and uh, so did they. It was back and forth. And I'm very proud of the guys with the way that they, they handled themselves. They gave us everything that they had. and. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud of them. Um, you know, it just it was one of those things where they had one more goal th than us, and uh, you know, we, we were feeling pretty good. I think after we were up four uh, three, then they came down, they popped one, and then uh, you know, like we still had some chances to score. We had a three on one opportunity that we didn't capitalize on. Then um, they get the get the uh, the game winner. But anyways, it's it was. Uh, a great season for the guys. They, I think, they learned a lot this year. I think they learned how to deal with adversity. Um, they're a lot better men right now than they were at the start of the year. They've always been very good people, but I think uh, their character of how they handled the the adversity this year was just uh, tremendous. Yeah. Look back on the season. Have you ever coached a season that was as crazy as this? NHL lockout. <clears throat> Brandon Davidson diagnosed with cancer. I mean, the Oklahoma City storms. And then not even being in the playoff picture until you know a couple months out. Talk about that. Well, yeah, it was a it was a very difficult year. Um, I know from our, from the staff from the staff's point of view, it was uh, very emotional, very up and down. Um, you know, it was it was just a tough year, and you know, but we got a group of guys together once everything settled in that really wanted to play hard for each other, and uh, you know they. Everybody counted us out after the lockout ended. They thought that we would never make the playoffs. And, uh, you know, from there, like after, after dropping, uh, I think, four or five in a row, we kind of came together and, and we battled the rest of the season. And, uh, you know, that's a testament to the guys in the room, a testament to my coaching staff and my, you know, um, our, our training staff and everybody involved. Um, you know, like, there's a lot to be proud of. And uh, the guys are all pretty down right now, but they can certainly walk out of this building with their head high. I think, uh, like, like I said, nobody expected us to win. Uh, and uh, that's some, something, something to be very proud about. What does a season, a series, and you know, even an emotional loss like this do in terms of young guys getting experience and growing as players? Well, I think uh, one of the things I said, like when, when you guys do win the championship and hopefully you're fortunate, fortunate, that, fortunate enough to, and it really makes you appreciate what you've accomplished. And uh, I think going through this, it's going to make them stronger. I think uh, this feeling will stick inside them for the rest of their lives. And, uh, you know, knowing how close we were, I think we we're 13 minutes away basically from uh, moving on to the next series. And, uh, and actually, they scored with about six minutes left in the game. It was a tie game. Who knows what would have happened if um, we go into overtime or something like that. So, um, it's going to make them, like I said, better people. Uh, their character grew stronger. There already is a lot of guys. Well, they all have character in there. And uh, to see how they fought through adversity this year was just totally amazing. It was, it was truly, truly inspirational for everybody. Uh, but, we, but we did it all together. And uh, that's the most important thing. You see you guys walking around with those T-shirts say, get greasy on the back. I'm not sure if you've seen a more greasy game from Ben Eager, Chris Vanneville, Leanti Turvine, and guys that Maybe you wouldn't expect to step up in a situation like this, but they had a huge night for you. They were excellent. They were excellent tonight. They, uh, they got rewarded with a couple goals. Uh, they always seem to have the puck in the offensive zone. If there was a D zone draw, we put them out there, and they got the job done and got the pu uh, puck out, and we had uh, some energy going into the offensive zone. But uh, they, they got rewarded, and uh, all they did was work their tails off and finish checks. and. Uh, to do the little things that we asked, and they, did, and they did it consistently tonight, and they were they were effective. I thought they were probably our strongest line tonight. This series started. You guys came in leading the AHL in scoring, and then it turned into a bit of a defensive series. Goaltenders were on their game, but did you expect a game seven like this, where the goals were kind of coming at will there? Well, you saw both teams' strategy is throw everything at the net. That's been our motto all year. You know, when you talk about uh, um, get greasy, get, get greasy wins. That's how we win games. We. We throw pucks in the net. We go go to the net hard. Uh, we try to get traffic. We try to manufacture goals out of nothing, and uh, they did the same thing tonight. Unfortunately, they they had one more than us.